page page eight. There's only one PDF. It's called Past Papers Revision Book or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so what's, what's the problem, children? <laughs> oh my goodness, page eight, yes, yes. And we're going to start with the 2013 paper. Question A, one. <coughs> Are we ready? <coughs> this is taking a lot longer than I hoped. Guys, you ready? Do you want to step out for a minute? I think the signal's a bit weak in here. Um, down and soon, why don't you just share the laptop? Can we just share the laptop? Uh, I think pushing it for, I think two people might be pushing it. I was picking it between Dan and Sue. Just step out for a moment. No, I, I, got it, I got it. You have it? Okay. Yeah. He has it. He's fine. There's no problem. Okay. So, section A, I'm going to start anyways, but yeah. Section A, question one. So, if you look at the question, please. Page eight, basketball Page eight yeah. A basketball player releases a ball from a height. 1.65 meters above the ground. That's the height. Ah, but the ball is at an angle actually. So I'll draw the basketball player. Here he is. And there's the ball. What's wrong? Oh no, that's okay. Thomas, what's wrong? Yeah, can you just, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. I, do I have? Past question. Guys, oh, let me pause this. <sighs> Basketball player releases a ball from a height 1.65 meters above the ground. Its velocity is 14.3 meters. meters per second. Uh, his height here is, is yeah, 1.65 meters and the angle is uh, degrees. 40 Above. degrees yeah 40 degrees so the first thing we do as always is break up into the two pieces so if you remember which one's the cos the horizontal. the horizontal 14.3 cos 40 so here I get, I uh, definitely want to be in degree mode for this, 10.95. Um, and then sine for the vertical, as you know. <coughs> 9.19 meters per second. Uh, okay. So how long does it take for the ball to hit the ground? That's the first question. So if you look at the ball, it goes up, and then it hits the ground. At the end, who can tell me what SY equals at the end? Minus 1.65. Very good, Tanish. Minus 1.65 because it's 1.65 for the larger starting point. And you remember the formula for S? What's the formula for S? UT plus a half AT squared. So here we have that one. Now, which, uh, which velocity do I use? The 9.19, isn't it? And then the acceleration <coughs> is 9.8. 1 over 2 multiplied t squared. So we get, if I clean this up, I'll get 
4.905 t squared minus 9.19 t minus 1.65 equals 0. What type of equation is that? Quadratic. Just a quadratic. No, you don't know the V. So we get two answers. T equals 2.038, so 04 seconds, or a negative answer, which we reject. So reject the negative answer, except only the positive. So that's, that's part one. Yeah. Now part two is what is the horizontal distance travelled? So that is S X. What's the formula for S? Yeah, but there's one key difference here. A zero. Oops. A zero. Horizontally, no acceleration. What's the U? Um, it was 10.95 and then what's the T? 2.04 so 10.95 times 2.04 and I got 22.3 huh? I'm typing in 10.95 times 2.24 22.04 2.04 2.04 2.04 that's what I wrote, isn't it? Yeah. You said 2.04 Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, I misspoke, but I wrote the right thing yeah. and I typed the right thing <coughs> So I got 22.3 uh, meters So in this horizontal, acceleration is always vertical? Only vertical, yes uh, And that's A1, 6 marks 